That's right. It's Monday. This is a live class. So our, our Monday motivation is simply what does it look like? And you guys know the motivation part is so special because it's going to get you on the right track for the rest of the week. This episode of How to Pass NCLEX is brought to you by Quick Facts for NCLEX. This is the book that every nursing student should have. Pick it up on Amazon.com. It has a five-star rating, and I'm really um, excited for you to get into that book. Now, we have a great show coming up, but I will be reminding you that next week, even better is, um, not next week, in, in almost two weeks, I should say, is our Black Friday special. But hey, you may get access to it early. You may get access to it early. You got to sign up. We are doing a huge sale for Black Friday this year. Um, so I want you guys to know that this price that you see here is the final opportunity to get the virtual trainer at this price. We're not taking $50 off, $100. We're doubling that. We're taking $200 off of the virtual trainer, right? So this is an amazing uh, opportunity. It's an, that's what I'm going to call it, what it is. It's an amazing opportunity. And on Black Friday too, I am doing a grand, a grand free NCLEX review where I'm going to be literally going over the information in the VT, come on in, in the virtual trainer to help you to get started. So if you purchase the virtual trainer, we can go over it together on Black Friday. We're going to make huge pro during this time. So get your minds right. We are doing name that patient condition. Here is the first condition. I want you to give me the diagnosis. Your patient comes in. Are you ready for this? Come on in. Welcome. All right. Welcome. Your patient comes in and they have upper abdominal pain. They have nausea related to eating. They have bloating dysphagia, there are no ulcers though, and they are, it's relieved by antacids. What's, what does this patient have? Go ahead, put the comments on the screen. I wanna know if you are following with me. This is How to Pass NCLEX. Today, we are guessing, we are guessing what our patient has based on their symptoms. Hello, everybody, come on in. So the patient, upper abdominal pain, Nausea, when they eat, they have bloating, they have dysphagia, they have oh, no ulcers, no ulcers though. And if they take antacids, they get some relief. What would you call this? What you gonna call this? See the answers on the screen, fast comments. The correct answer is, uh-huh, it's acid reflux. I would take GERD too, I would take GERD too, but that is the track I want you to be thinking about when you get these cues. When you get these cues, let's keep it moving. I have another one for you. Are you guys locked in? Share this video. Share this video. Here we go. Study session. The patient has watery nasal drainage. They are sneezing. They are coughing. They have some tiredness and they have head pressure. What are we thinking this patient has? What are we thinking this condition? What could it be? What could it be? Oh, I hope you get this one right. I hope you get this one right. Your patient's sneezing, they're coughing, they're tired. Oh, man. And if you've ever had this, you know that it is, it's really annoying. You know that, you know the, yeah, you, you know the time of year. <laughs> you know the time of year. What is this? What is this? See the answers on the screen. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'm actually, I see what you guys are putting and I, I guess I can't agree with it, but actually I got this from um, clinical presentations, right? And, and this actually was the, the symptoms of allergic rhinitis, which is allergies, which is sinuses, right? Watery nasal drainage. If you are having a, a flu, what is sometimes that that drainage is going to be uh, a little thicker, right? It may have some mucus in it, right? So this is uh, allergies, essentially. Good job, everybody. 
I'm moving on. I got another condition. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We usually do questions, but this is making you guys really think. I'm not giving you any options. I'm not giving you any options. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Patient condition. Babies over three months. Fever. Diarrhea. Hot cheeks. Excessive. Salivation. What is this condition? What is this condition? Oh, tag your friend. <laughs> tag your friend. Tell them, look, Remar is on. She's studying. You need to get in on this. We are prepping. This is brought to you by Quick Facts, which comes as part of the NCLEX virtual trainer. This is what we do, guys. You got, I want you to tell me what is going on with this patient if you are given these things. Babies over three months get this. Fever, diarrhea, hot cheeks, excessive salivation. Oh, Nurse Robert, got it. Nurse Robert, got it. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, no, not RSV. Hot cheeks, hot cheeks, hot cheeks, excessive salivation. Oh, fever, diarrhea. Anyone who has raised anyone knows that these are the signs of teething. These are the signs of teething, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I hope you are putting that in your memory. I hope you are putting that in your memory right there. Hot cheeks, hot cheeks. <laughs> All right, next condition is this. Oh, this one might be a tough one. I'm looking for, um, give me a, a blood gas interpretation here. Patient has respirations of six breaths per minute. How many are we supposed to have? Is six a little low? They're unresponsive to stimuli. They were in a near drowning event. So that means that they were rescued from the water and they have a pH of 7.26. What would we say this is? Oh, the, the breathing is very low. What about the, the pH? The pH is 7.26. Is that low or high? These are the numbers you got to know. All right. I love the comments on the screen. Fast comments. Every, every, every patient, clinician, uh, situation, you guys should be putting the comments. You should know what it is. All right. Most of you guys have this. If you don't, listen, these are the things you need to know. I'm expecting perfection because these conditions are pretty general. The correct answer is respiratory acidosis. Respiratory acidosis. Look at this patient. And they're not breathing fast at all. They're going to have an acidic buildup in their body. Oh, I'm sorry. That should say 2-6. Um, My error there. Um, but we know that, let me go back so nobody's confused. We know that um, when you are not breathing, right, when you have been involved in an incident that depresses your respirations, like drowning or a drug overdose, you become very acidic. You become very acidic. And this is a respiratory issue. The patient's respirations are just six uh, breaths per minute. So this is a respiratory acidosis. Yes, respiratory acidosis. So that was the answer there. All right. Uh, next one. Let me go back here. Let me go to this one. Okay. Patient has, oh, patient has a recurrent complaint. Okay. <laughs> recurrent complaint. It takes them about 10 to 14 days to recover. And they have tingling, itching, numbness. They have fluid field blisters right? Fluid filled blisters. And then also it's at the nose and mouth location. What would we say? What would we say is this patient's condition? Essentially, we're getting that there's tingling, itching, numbness around the nose and the mouth. It's painful. And this is something that takes 10 to 14 days to recover from. Oh, what is it? And it's recurrent. It's recurrent. So that means it's happening 
uh, it's happening kind of frequently or maybe not frequently, but it's a routine thing. What say if you all, what say if you all? Excellent job. Excellent. That's just what I was looking for. That's just what I was looking for. Um, the correct answer is actually going to be, see if I can get there. Correct answer is herpes simplex. Herpes simplex is the right answer. It's a little bit covered up there, but that's what it is. Remember with herpes simplex, you do have, um, you do have this coming up when you're stressed. When, when you're stressed with type one herpes simplex, you will have issues um, that the blisters will come up and you'll feel it. Like you'll feel the numbness and the tingling and then bam, you got a big cold sore on your face, right? Um, and so the, the, the location of the blister will start to give signs, right? Um, and so those blisters are fluid filled and they are quite painful. Some people will get it around the mouth. Some people will get it around the nose, but this is indeed herpes simplex. Hey guys, we do have Black Friday coming up. If you have not signed up for it, please go to remarnurse.com forward slash Black Friday, BF. Just simply put the letters BF and you'll be able to do my four hour free NCLEX review starting the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm keep telling you guys that so that we can get you signed up for it. I really don't want you to miss. It's going to be a great opportunity. Um, Let's go on to the next client. And the next client has these symptoms. Hmm. Okay. We got flu-like symptoms. There is a rash on the body that appears as red spots. This happens. It follows an episode of chicken pox. So it's not chicken pox. I don't want you to put chicken pox. Um, the, the, the rash has blisters that burst open and then they crust over. And also the, the blisters are affected to just one area mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the pain is so severe that you can't, you can't do anything. The pain is so severe. What is this diagnosis? What is this patient having that, um, it is, it is. It causes the body to ache. You feel tired. You don't, you don't do anything. You might have a little runny nose, flu-like symptoms. The rash appears as red spots. It follows chicken pox. So literally, you cannot get this unless you've had chicken pox in the past. There's one specific area of the body that is, it is bothering you. Sometimes it itches. Sometimes it itches really bad, right? Good job. I see it. Uh, yes, you guys are coming with the answers today. And I hope you guys can see this one. It is herpes zoster, okay? Shingles, herpes zoster. But your exam will say, your exam will say herpes zoster. And so you want to know this condition if you did not get this right, if you didn't get this one right. All right, let me go to the next one here. Okay, okay. What do you guys think about this one? The client works at a public gym. Between the fourth and fifth toe is affected. The foot skin is soggy. Um, if you get this condition, there is a secondary risk for cellulitis. And we notice that only one foot is affected. What could it be? What could it be? Hmm. Hmm, what could this be? I want to see the correct answers here. Let's see the answers. We're all trying to pass in 2021 and 2022. We want to pass in 2022 as well. So let's get it on right here, preparing for the last two months of the year. Put, go ahead and put it on the screen. I see you guys, you get, you're getting it right already. Uh, you know you can get this at uh, the gym, you can get it at the swimming pool. Oh, you yeah, you pick it up if you're not careful. This is indeed Tinea pedis, all right, or athlete's foot. Now I do, I will accept fungus because um, this is a fungal infection. Fungus has spores. 
and the spores of athletes' feet. Have you ever had it before? Um, they're very contagious and it's difficult to treat because um, if, you, if you're not really careful, you don't know that you got it. You don't know that you got it until it's really bad, right? And so the foot skin will get soggy. Um, it usually gets down in between the toes, right? And if you get it, if you have some skin breakdown at this area, you can certainly have cellulitis, which is very painful. Yes, I want you to know this condition. I want you to know this condition. Okay, I'm moving on. I am moving on. The next condition is this. The next condition is this. You have um, <clears throat> pain at the urethra, nausea. It's a rapid onset. It's a rapid onset. And the um, there's visible hematuria. There's visible hematuria. And there's also pain with passing urine. And then you have a malodorous urine. You have a malodorous urine. But it happens pretty fast and you do have some nausea. What is this patient's condition? What do you guys think? Oh, it's a resounding. You guys are all on one page. Um, you guys are all on one page today. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, I didn't think about that. Hmm. Somebody put something on the screen that I didn't think about. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to tell you my answer. Um, and I want you to let me know what you what do you think? Because I, I, most of you guys are on the same page as me. All right. So um, my answer is urinary tract infection. But some of you put STD and I'm like, mm, it could be that too. <laughs> it could be that too. Minus, um, I, did, I didn't put discharge. Like, you know, usually you have a drip. Uh, of some sort, and I there is there there's not that there on this thing. So I it's, it, these are the signs of a urinary tract infection here. But you guys got me thinking. You guys got me thinking. All right. Okay. Let me let me switch gears. All right. So this was a very great and fun activity for us to get with. Uh, starting starting to take cues for the NCLEX exam. And you guys did a great job with that. So keeping that same energy, I want you to take advantage of other situations that allow you to study, right? Um, other situations that allow you to study. So my NCLEX motivation is just this. What does it look like? Hmm, what does it look like? And when I say that, let me tell you this. Because, you know, my, my motivations come from things that I'm dealing with in the moment. So Maybe like you, um, on the weekends, on the weekends, I prep for the week. Am I the only person? Is there anybody else that uses the weekends to catch up for the following week? Or am I the only person? I don't know. There's something about Saturday night because I, I don't do any work um, Friday evening to Saturday evening because I keep the Sabbath. But on Saturday nights, I like to prepare for the week. It takes a lot for me to um, do the, the Facebooks the YouTube lives, I do virtual trainer meetings, I do Remar staff meetings, we are planning events like Black Friday, and I also have business meetings with our partners and things like that. I, I have to do all of this on the weekend. Well, this particular weekend, this Saturday, you guys, this Saturday, this happened. <laughs> this happened to me. My son, Michael, all right, my son, Michael, wanted to watch Space Jam 2. And if you think about it, for me, when my, when my kids want to do a movie night of some sort, it's a lot of work. It's not just sitting. It's not like when you're with an adult and you guys are just sitting there watching the movie. No, when you do a movie night with your kids, um, you got to make popcorn. They want to set the mood. You got to explain the mood, movie. And my son, he likes to jump around. So every time any type of music is played, he's up dancing around. I have to feed him sometime during the movie, feed myself. It's a real job. And 
it, it was a lot of work. It looked like, oh no, when he asked me to watch Space Jam 2, it looked like it was going to be a lot of work. Does any parents feel where I'm coming from? And I love my boy. I love him to death. But I am, I am in a, a dilemma where I don't want to do too much work because I already have a plan of my own. And so um, needless to say, I said, okay, we, we could turn on the movie. I, let's buy the movie. Let's watch it, right? Uh, even though it looked like it was going to be a lot of work, I said, let's do it. And you guys, you know what? I was so glad because it turned out to be an amazing opportunity to connect with my son. We were able to um, cuddle. He put a little blanket over me. He wanted me to relax with him. And we had a great time. And I'm so glad that I didn't miss out on the opportunity. So this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, many times people miss opportunity. And I got this from Thomas Edison. <laughs> many times people miss opportunity because it is dressed in overalls and it looks like work. Right. And I, I want to say that many times we, we don't take advantage of an opportunity because we think it is going to be too much work to do the thing. Right. Or it is going to take up too much time or it's not what we had planned. And it looks like it's going to be too much work. So I am saying all that this week is I don't care what it looks like. If it's an opportunity, make time for for it. If it's an opportunity, make time for it. And let me follow it up with this. The Friday after Thanksgiving, there is an opportunity. It is a four hour opportunity. And we're going to go over basic care and comfort, orthopedics. We're going to go over the quick facts book, IV therapy, pain management, diet, it's look, it's going to be a lot. And it's probably looking like a lot of what it's probably looking like it's going to be a lot of work, but it is an opportunity that I promise you, you're not going to want to miss. So I'm telling you that to say, sign up for black Friday, remarnurse.com forward slash BF make time for this opportunity. And if you want to jumpstart and get ahead when you sign up, that will give you access to our early Black Friday pricing if you don't have the virtual trainer. If you don't have it, this is the final opportunity opportunity for you to do that. This is you to do that. And so if you're studying with me and you already have the VT student workbook, you'll literally be able to go to those pages. All right. You'll literally be able to go to those pages and we will be doing it together. So come prepared to work. You guys know that you can. You will and you must, you can, you will, and you must pass your NCLEX exam. All right. We say that all the time. So yes, it will be going down Eastern standard time. Let me just go back to it. So you guys can see it. It will be 12 PM to 4 PM Eastern time. Okay. EST. So convert, convert, convert wherever you are and set an alarm. All right. And yes, spending time with your family is the best. It is the best. And there's nothing better than that. All right. So I will see you guys later. What I want you to do, hop off of this video and go sign up for the Black Friday event, remarnurse.com forward slash BF. All right, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.